There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Welcome everybody to today's monthly insider flash call. My name is Dominic and I will take you uh, through different settings, uh, through different my accounts, how I'm trading, how I'm, I'm managing also my uh, flash. Uh, so first of all, right now I'm only trading one pair and this is uh, gold and I'm trading only one strategy. I switch only to strategy that it's called London Breakout that most, of the, that most of you already know. And also most of the customers are right now trading gold because there is like a lot of uncertainty in the world with the wars going on. Uh, so gold is like really at this moment. So I make my suffer as conservative as possible because always the most important thing is uh, the risk management and how we protect uh, the risk. So we're gonna go into the share screen right now and we're gonna look uh, at my account, the Flash London breakout uh, that it's running completely like hands off. Uh, the only thing that I do with this account is I increase the size for every thousand uh, dollars on the account so you as you can see uh, this week uh, and this month uh, we didn't actually open up any trades uh, because this strategy it's like really precise so it's not gonna have open trades every single day but if we look at <laughs> month of October you can see that we actually had like our biggest month and we closed out the month with 30 Point fourteen percent. What it's like astonishing. Uh, and if we go and look at the statistic, you will also see that we didn't have like a lot of trades going on, not even in October. Uh, let's choose here only October. Okay, and we're gonna do the analysis. And you can see right now uh, the drawdown was like almost non-existing. The drawdown that we had in October was only one point eighteen uh, percent and we only opened up 23 trades we only had like 23 trades so that means that like on average we had one trade a day so you can see it's not going to trade every single day but when it does trade it's like really precise and we can expect like beautiful uh beautiful profit beautiful moves in the market and also if we go see uh through whole all the months you can see we are like averaging six then 16 8 9 percent and this month was like 30 percent so in almost like what is this like one two three four five months five months of trading we are almost up we are up 90 percent so almost like 100 percent and we only did 92 trades so that means that like in five months we maybe got maybe get like what like 20 trades a week, 20 trades a month, not even. Okay, so you can see it doesn't trade a lot, but when it trades, uh, it closes out in profit. So uh, the London breakout strategy, uh, you have it here on the Google Drive. I already shared this. Uh, and also the only thing that I changed actually uh, from the original strategy is maximum trades pips and maximum trades space pips. That means that I went from one and 300 i went to one and 600 why that, why i did that uh it's because gold if you look at the gold chart at the moment uh you will see that 
gold it's really making like big moves like even like thousand pips up and thousand pips down so uh we always have to be prepared like for these big moves because these big moves will will happen in the in the market so this is what we always have to be uh ready for so we have to wait here that it loads and uh let's see at gold and you can see how uh, gold it's moving this is like a daily chart and you can see here if you look here uh it's like going up and down like few pips you see like three thousand uh but then like we had that move that it just like shoot all the way down and you can see here this was like a move of thirteen thousand points so like 1300 pips and then uh we closed out all the buys and you can see here that it actually went up again uh 20,000 points, so like 2,000 pips. And this is like what we have to be uh, ready for in the market. And this is like why I'm only running right now uh, gold on the London breakout strategy. Also, some people uh, are running. I'm also testing a US 30 strategy on M5. Uh, I didn't quite get the right settings in. So you can see we are like $1,400 in minus on a $5,700 account. Uh, the biggest problem with the US 30 is once we trade it, it like really like when it makes a move, it makes a move. So you can see here, like almost like 120,000 points. And this is like what it can get us in trouble. So for right now, I'm still testing it out. I didn't find the right uh, settings yet. But if I found like right settings, I will also uh share these settings of course with you uh a lot of people are running like a hybrid strategy and this hybrid strategy it's actually uh gold on m15 so london breakout and then they're running some pairs like gbp aud nzd cat euro usd usd cat and aud usd uh they're running uh, on h4 as you can see and let's open up the settings and they're having like a really a lot of success with it and this is an account of 3,000 3, uh, pounds. Uh, so they're running 0 0.02 uh, per, like for 3,000. So 0 0.01 per 1,500. But it's really good risk management. Cash trail start it's 10. So that means they calculate this with 500 to get 10. And then they're like cash trail buffer is uh, 3. So with 150 max trades open per pair, it's 20. Yeah, it's okay. And then they have like max trades pips, two trades every 30 pips. So like here, if you would like to run a strategy like that, I would go here like two, uh, two trades every 60 pips. I think 30, it's too small, especially if the pair starts like trending. And then it's here pending orders, uh, 90 minutes, 90, 10. And they're trading the whole time. So it's a really nice setup. It's a nice hybrid strategy. And people are having a lot of success with it. So you can try also out these uh, settings for uh, Euro USD, USD CAT, AUD, USD, NZD CAT, uh, GBP, AUD. In my opinion, personally, I would stay out of it because GBP, AUD, it's like known that it like moves a lot and it makes like uh, like big uh, movements like especially like trend movement so i would stay out of this but these pairs are nice for this strategy euro usd usd cat AOD, usd and nzd uh cat i will also personally uh put uh, together a demo account and i will put all 28 pairs on on h4 so we can see how they're gonna perform so yeah this is it it's like a lot of new things for flash i'm running the london breakout strategy it's been performing amazing for the last year and a half so i don't think there is like nothing like that we have to change the only thing that i do uh, did change is that i did like the max uh, space pips uh i went from one to three hundred uh where is it? one to three hundred as you see here i have one to six hundred everything else is the same 15 minute pending order time I'm trading still from 9.30 till 12 and I don't trade on Friday. So this is the strategy. I don't think we have to change anything. It's been running beautiful. Uh, and that's it. So guys, if you have any questions, we are always available in the Discord uh, channel. Uh, you can ask questions there, but this is it for me for this uh, for today. 
and see you next month have a great trading month and talk to you soon bye Thank you.